Okay, here's what happens when I shut off my drain back of my pump and it starts draining back. So pump off now. It takes a little while. Slowly starts going up. And you can hear gurgling in the lines. I can't remember what I calculated my lines and collector to be. Um, I think it might have been 1.3 gallons or so. And it slows down a little as it starts approaching the four inch mark there. And it's still going up, but slowly. I'm going to turn the pump back on, and pump's on, so it just gurgled a little bit of water into the expansion tank that was probably trapped in the heat exchanger. Still pumping, still pumping. Now it starts really dumping into the tank, like it's got most of the air out of lines, just some uh, residual bubbles. And it'll eventually get down to the zero mark. Um, eventually I might change this out for a bigger diameter um, line for the sight glass because it's so small that it gets little pockets of um, trapped water and that can affect the level indication. I'll shut it back off again. Off. I think it takes a little while for it, the system to figure out what's the dominant leg, which one's lower, which is the pump side. But then once the return line is um, drained down, then it starts to flow quicker back towards the pump side. So I was thinking during operation I probably don't want to have this expansion tank filled with too much water just because that's more water to heat up before it starts heating up the um, regular house water tank. This is just the uh, small volume of solar water that um, circulates. Alright. And it will slowly get up to about where the number four is.